I'm just doing a little job that I overlooked and it's the extra angle on these stretchers. Um, it just slipped my mind to put them on. So what I'm doing, I've I've cut my angle to the to the required length, two inch. I've put three one eighth holes in, and I'm just uh, I've just clamped it to the component with my tool clamp. Checked it for squareness, and when I'm happy, it's square. I'm just going to follow through with one eighth drill into the bit that I'm going to rivet it to into the, this Right, I've just got to countersink the back side for the rivet. And we're ready for riveting now. We'll just take the camera around a bit. Got my rivet snapping, all made. Just a minute. Here we are. Drop me with it. one just make sure it rivets fully home Check it square. Yeah, that's okay.
Right, just got to file them uh, surplus rivets off. Finish that on my belt sander. Now I've got the surplus off. Right, I'm just going to do a little progress report and update before I go any further. I think in my last clip I mentioned I was going to take these angles off on my buffer beam individually so I could transfer the holes in from my frame, etc. etc. I've already explained that. But before I take that off, I've managed now to get everything squared up and everything's parallel, everything's square, everything's flat, nothing's rocking. Uh, it took me a while to get that squared up actually. Uh, and the reason being, this side had a very slight curve in, in the frame, a, a little bow in the frame side, which I didn't notice before. I put my straight edge on. And it, it was just slightly rocking. So, what I've had to do, uh, I've been in my shed and got a, a, a big piece of timber out, heavy duty timber. You'll have to excuse angle at camera here. In fact, just a minute, I'll move. It's on floor down there. You'll have to excuse angle at camera. I can't get it any, any nearer to that. Without dismantling stand, I've got this plank of wood. It's just a bit longer than frame and same width, and it's just a matter of with a hide mallet, getting it some welly with a hide mallet. And I, I spent about twenty minutes uh, getting that right because if if things aren't straight, you're never going to get it squared up. So. That's just a little pointer there for you, which I've had to, which I've had to do extra. Uh, I'm just trying to show you a different angle inside frame. Right. So, yeah, where I'm up to then, I've got my stretcher here. This is the rear one, and I've got the same one in the front. And I've set the stretcher, while I'd got everything set up, I thought I might as well get that first stretcher in position to transfer holes. So I've got that one all set up. I've measured with my vernier caliper in all the four corners to make sure it's dead flat from the top of the frame. It's up to my buffer beam. And it's in its right position to transfer the holes. Now, to transfer the holes, I just use a I'll zoom out a fraction. I just use a, a, an ordinary pu uh, punch with a very shallow point on it, so that when it's in the hole, it locates into hole before it touches on part that you're punching. Now you can make these out of silver steel and go to trouble at hardening and tempering them etc and make it make different sizes. But what I do, I've got this one eighth punch and I've just got a series of little bushings that I put over it with a one eighth hole in for various size holes that I punch. And I've just got a tin somewhere with, with various bushings in. Uh, so that's what I do anyway. Yeah. So I've just got to transfer these holes for this stretcher over now. That's one. When I can find other one somewhere here. There we are. Where's it gone? It's there. And then same on the other side. Another one.
Right, so I've got those marked now. So when I take when I dismantle my front buffer beam, I can also uh, get this front stretcher drilled. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. And to be honest, I'm forever checking that to make sure nothing moves and that, that everything stays square. You don't want something to just slightly move out before you start punching your transfer uh, put, put your transfer punch in to mark the holes so yeah everything's square everything's level everything's parallel I've checked the own guides openings and they uh, seem to be okay so my next job now is to take one of these angles off I drill it put it back on, take the other off, mark the holes, drill that and then I can uh, rivet these angles onto my buffer beam and then I can f fasten my buffer beam onto my frames along with the stretcher then that's the front bit done, then I'm just going to do the back, the back buffer beam and then put the stretchers in mark all the holes off in the stretchers etc etc and it's just uh, a bit of repetitive work really till you've got all everything lined up and marked up and drilled so I'll do another update as I get to a position where uh, you know I need to show you something else